What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw the female torso. Now as you can see on my page I have two representations of the female torso. One is at a front view, the other is at a three quarter view. Now I drew the front view like this so I can show you guys the shapes that we're actually going to use to draw the female torso. So what I have drawn are actually cylinders. What I drew at first were trapezoids but I transformed them into cylinders which kind of still look like trapezoids in this case. But we're going to be using trapezoids to draw the female torso. Now what you see over here are the trapezoids at a certain position. Now like I said, they are at a three quarter view so we are gonna see more of one side than the other but I drew arrows on this model so I can show you guys where exactly we're gonna be adding a lot of curves because the female body has a lot of curves to it. And I helped emphasize that with these two blue arrows. So this one side of the female torso looks as if it's been squished so there's gonna be a crease right here in this area where these two trapezoids meet. And compared to this side, we're not gonna see many curves over here but this side is not ultimately going to be straight so we are going to be adding curves to this side when we draw the female torso at a three quarter view and obviously the red arrows that I drew on both models will be the center line or in this case for this model it's the line of symmetry but on this model it's going to be our center line because like I said we're going to see more of one side than the other so it's not ultimately going to be symmetrical but it's there so it can help us draw all the female body parts that we're going to need for this video but with that being said let's get started Okay, so I got a new page in my sketchbook and we're ready to get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is draw a curved line like this. And that's going to be our starting line. So up here on each end of this line will be the shoulders or somewhere close to the shoulders. So what we are going to do is draw in our center line. It's going to intersect this line like right about here. And we're going to see more of one side of the line than the other. I'm going to draw that with a big curve. Like that. And now we're going to make this same curve over here on the other end of this line. like that and then pick a stopping point on this line I'm gonna make an X there and we're gonna make a curve to connect this X with this top X up here and now you can see that it kind of looks like our model that I showed you before and now let's erase this bottom line that's below this X okay and then we're gonna make a curve that kind of goes out like this because earlier that curve went in but now we're going to make a curve that comes out but it's more so kind of like a straight line but not exactly but I'm going to make a line that looks like that okay then a line over here will come out like that and that will construct the hips but we're not going to draw those yet and then we can connect these with another curve that's similar to this one, but a little bit bigger. Okay, and then I'm going to fix this center line because it looks off. And now we can begin to draw the breasts. So we can start drawing the breasts on this little corner up here. And it's going to be like a water balloon shape. So it's going to be hanging off of this X here. Gonna look something like that okay and then I like to draw a line across and then another breast which is another water balloon shape but I don't but when I draw the female torso I don't like to emphasize that too much so I just like to draw like a little curve like that and boom okay and then from this breast over here I'm gonna make a curve that kind of goes out and then back in because before that blue line with the curve that just goes straight I'm just gonna make a curve out from the breast and then coming back in like so and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this other side but let me use a different pencil for that so from this X I'm gonna curve out and then curve back in and then I start to follow this line towards the X 
and that's the other side of the female torso like so and then I can do the same thing for the bottom part of the torso too so I'm gonna make a line coming from here that's somewhat similar to this blue guideline here like that and then this line will be okay just left it like that but it's fine like that and then since we're still over here I can begin to construct a small part of the hips and the thighs so I'm just gonna make a curve coming back in so ultimately this will be sort of a parenthesis shape a curve out and then coming back in like that and then right here where these two lines intersect that's gonna be the crotch so I can begin to construct the rest of this leg using that point see and then the other leg I'm gonna have that coming in so I'm just gonna make a curve that goes in that direction and then real quick I'm just gonna change the size of the breast Okay, and now that looks a little better. So now that we got most of the female torso drawn now, I just wanna say that this is the waistline. So when a female wears jeans or any lower body clothing, they can start somewhere in this area. Because like I said down here where these two guidelines intersect, that's gonna be the crotch. So I'm just gonna draw that in, have her wearing some, actually let's draw her with a bathing suit on. Keep things simple like a little curve off of this crotch here all the way to the end of this guideline here and then another curve over here like so so most of what we need to do is already done now but what I am gonna do just to be extra is I'm gonna add in some arms so I'm gonna come up to the top where we started I'm gonna just draw a little oval right here Now you can make two lines on each end of this oval to be the neck. That's up to you. You don't have to do that if you're actually drawing a character. But I'm actually going to be drawing some sort of a mannequin. Like one of those mannequins that be wearing the clothes at like a department store. That's what I'm going to draw here. So I'm going to construct the shoulders now by coming off of that oval. Just make a curve coming to the outermost parts of the female torso. And then I'm going to make a circle right here. That's going to be the shoulders. And then I'm going to make the arm stretch this long. Because the arm and the hand combined, that stops at the mid thigh. Which is somewhere down here, kind of off the page. Because my page stops down here. So I'm going to make the arm very long. And then this portion right here will be the hand. See? And now I'm going to construct the arm using cylinders. So I'm going to come off of this curve that I made for the shoulders. And then make a cylinder here. Make that into a cylinder. And then the way I like to draw arms is I like to come off of the elbow. Then make a curve coming out. And then coming back in to the wrist down here. So I'm going to do that to the other side. Come out. And then come back in. Like so. And then I'm going to draw in the hand. Just any, any hand movement would do. But if you do want to learn from me how to draw hands. I got three videos on drawing the hand. Two of them are public on YouTube. The other is exclusive over on my Patreon. So there will be links to those hand videos in the description down below. And there will also be a link to my Patreon so you can get to the other hand video too. But for now in this case I'm just going to be drawing just a random hand movement. And I'm just going to draw this arm going off the page. Just to help uh, save time a little bit. Mm 
okay and then as you can see this arm kind of overlaps this torso just a little bit so I'm gonna erase that line and then nothing happens with this arm because that's seen behind everything because this is at a three-quarter view and that arm is the last thing that we're gonna see and this arm is gonna be the first thing that we're gonna see so nothing will be over top of this arm but everything will be over top of this arm because they're the outermost parts of the body okay so with my pencil I'm just gonna darken those lines I'm also draw in like a little uh, collar or something else to help indicate that she's wearing a swimsuit like I mentioned before draw in some breasts too and now let me erase my guidelines too and after doing that, we're pretty much done. That's how you draw the female torso. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I got my nigga like Pat Kate.